So to close out our lighting lesson, I've got a few quick tips or guidelines that will hopefully bring this whole thing home. Tip one, start with multiple source lights, ideally LED panels. They're lighter, brighter, cheaper, easy to mount, create very little heat, take up less space than any other option. There's just a whole, whole variety of reasons why LED panels make the most sense for drummers. Now the two brands that I can personally recommend are Neewer and Aperture, but make sure to do your research on any LED panel that you're interested in buying, just to confirm that it doesn't have some insanely bad reviews. Tip two, get a mix of warm and cool lights. The easiest solution here is to get a bi-color LED panel or any light that allows you to adjust the temperature, whether that's a knob on the back or a filter that you drop in. Because remember, regardless of what kind of lighting you're going for, you will want the creative control that comes with having a spectrum of color temperatures in your lighting setup. You may also have noticed that my floor lamps are very warm and my overhead LED panels are very cold. That balance is is super intentional. Tip three, mount your overhead lights very wide. We're trying to replicate the best light in the universe, which is our sun. So big, wide light sources are gonna look better than really tight, focused light sources. You also won't have to worry about glares off of your drum heads if you mount your lights nice and wide, which makes life a lot easier. Tip four, keep one light on a free-floating stand. You never know what kind of shot you might wanna get one day, and it's really convenient to have a quickly accessible light on a stand, just a great way to save yourself some time and get dialed in a little bit faster. I know it's tempting to mount everything on the ceiling in your studio because having that, that permanent setup where you can just set it and forget it, that's really tempting, uh, but I've learned that it is nice to have a few lights on hand that you can just sort of move around as needed. Tip five, consider ways that you can make your lighting setup more versatile. There are tons of ways that you can take advantage of your lighting setup when you are permanently established in a room and you're not gonna touch that gear all the time. So for the sake of efficiency and a smoother workflow, spend some time thinking about how you can get the most out of your lights in some creative ways. If you're curious about some of the mounting solutions that I've shown in this video, we'll talk quite a bit more about those later in this course during our drum video tool bag lesson. All right guys, this concludes our lesson on lighting. Now in reality, even that we covered a good amount of stuff in this lesson, we are barely scraping the surface when it comes to the science or the study of lighting itself. But remember, lighting is what happens before we even turn the camera on. There's still a lot of steps left in our um, filming process, in our creative process. Creating a good looking shot is a recipe of a lot of different things put together. And while lighting is super important, it's not the only ingredient that you need to put all of your attention on. So as we get further into this course, we'll learn about many different ways that we can solve uh, lighting problems with our camera and even in editing. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will see you in the next lesson.